Hello everyone, Amy here again. Today I will teach you how to use Flight SHT-36 CAM Bus V2 Installing Clipper Tutorial. Let's preparation before work. We need one piece host computer flying pie board. Yes, and one piece sheet 36 V2 board. For sheet V2 is pre-installed with CAN boot, so we can only use CAN to connect to the host computer before programming. Okay? Yes, and use one piece is U2C1 board. Yes, here we need to connect the yellow line to the CAN edge and the white line is connected to the CAN air. We need to do before programming. Yes, and I have inserted the CAN data line into the SHT36 and with U2C1 and I use Type C USB connect to the host computer. And one piece is the system image installed SD card and one Wi-Fi connector. Yes, and three Type C USB connectors. And now let's insert the Wi-Fi connector to the host computer and insert the SD card into the card slot. Yes, over there. Okay, now let's connect the 36 board with Type C USB cable to the host computer. Yes, and now everything is connected well to the computer. Now let's go to our tutorial page. Yes, here is the our details guide. As we can see here, we have the connector folder. And now, let's open our terminal tool and check our device manager first. Yes, if the motherboard and the computer are connected, normally CH34 zero port will appear. Yes, then we will connect session and connect server and choose the one with our motherboard part then the bell red is 115200 and click ok then we enter the startup screen if it is not because i have successfully connected the startup screen will not be displayed again so next we where input NMTUI yes to active a Wi-Fi connection here the acoustic besides my Wi-Fi proves that the connection is successful and now press ESC exact key to return the interface and the input IPA to find uh, our IP address yes now let's copy the IP address yes go to the Google browser to open our clipper interface yes now let's go back to the terminal and copy the IP address click session click SSH and put here Yes, and choose right fly our account and click OK. And now let enter the password menu. It will not show it. And now yes and cancel. And this is our SSH connection is successful. Yes, now let's enter CD Clipper. Yes. If your clipper is the latest, you don't need to enter GIT port to pull the latest clipper. Yes, we can skip this step and enter the next command. 
make manual config to modify the clipper compilation configuration. Now let's copy the make manual config. Yes, enter. OK. It will pop up a window. Yes. Here we need to modify some. The first one. Here is the reference we can check. The configuration is showing in the following figure. So we need to change this one to CAM bus. Yes, this one. And the last one we need modify ice filter showing. Yes. Enter. Okay, now that is all correct configuration. We need price Q and Y to save it. And now let's enter. Yes, make gun J4 to company. Yes. Finally, if the creating here fill out clipper the bin appears, it means successfully. Yes. Now let's install firmware into the motherboard. Let's find the UUID of SHTV2. Yes, copy this command over there. Yes, if Clipper has been installed and is running normally, you can skip finding the UUID. Yes, now the high night part is the UUID of this SHTV2. And now copy this command and change the UUID we just find. Yes, change this to we just find this new UUID of this SHTV2 board. Now enter. Yes. Now is CAM flash success. That means it's successfully. Yes. Now we can check our installing if successfully. We can check the night on the SHTV2 board will be always on. Yes, over there, as we can see, the night is always on now. Yes, that is all for today. Thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye.